Hey everyone, Zach Greenway here, and today we're going to go over some basic and easy core exercises that you can do at home. The first one's going to require an exercise ball, so you're going to take the ball and place it on your stomach. Make sure your back is gently placed against the floor. Put one arm straight up and then the opposite leg bent at a 90, and you're going to press diagonally into the ball with your arm and your leg, kind of holding isometric tension for about five seconds, and then we're going to switch sides and do the other diagonal while the whole time making sure you keep pressure down into the floor with your back. So we'll do four reps in this position. If you don't have a ball, you can just press your hand directly into your knee as a substitute. Again, keep your knee at 90 and the back gently placed against the floor. You can adjust the pressure between your arms and your knees to tolerance. You should feel it in your core, not your upper back or your neck. If you're doing that, you're probably pressing too hard and you start slower and more mild tension. And again, try to keep the tension at an appropriate level. From there, we're gonna just do a leg kick out. So again, you're gonna press your back against the floor. Another good cue is keeping your hands on your pelvis so you minimize movement there. Keep one leg and you can either tap or to make it more challenging, you can press it all the way out. Again, try to make sure your pelvis and your core stays stationary. If you wanna make it even more challenging, you can bring one, both legs up and straighten one at a time. Again, making sure the movement comes from your hip and leg and not the low back. If your back starts to arch up, regress back down and just do one leg at a time until you get strong enough to do it with both legs up. From there, you'll need a small weight. You should keep it light. You're gonna keep one leg up at 90-90. Again, making sure that back is pressed into the floor and your pelvis stays stationary. And you're gonna lower the weight overhead, but the whole time you wanna keep your ribs down. You wanna feel it. We're emphasizing the anterior core here. So again, we're gonna lower and again, if you start to feel the ribs come up, you've got to keep them tucked down and either go less weight or more control or decrease your range of motion. Once you find that to be easy enough, you can lift both legs up, keep the core tucked and do it in this way. So you have to adjust it to your tolerance. But the most important thing is that you emphasize the anterior core and you keep the back flat against the thing. If for some reason you need to, you can always just keep both feet on the floor and just start in this direction. Lastly, we'll just do a glute bridge with a glute and ab emphasis. So you're going to keep the ribs tucked down and drive up with your glutes, keeping the ribs tucked down. You don't want to have the ribs flare because you'll feel it in your back. So tuck the ribs down and drive your glutes up. Sometimes placing your hands on the anterior ribs is a good cue to help keep them tucked down. That's it for today. We hope you found this helpful.